yo, you made the counts in the sheet. One, two, three, get sucked in my sheets. What it was getting cheap, so like a dream. Mazaru mix the no corner cream. You know Catherine, right? Maybe it's some other Catherine you know. Honestly, man, I wouldn't be surprised. Always meeting new people for work. Tonight's location. This clock has been in use since ancient times. Welcome back to Catherine. It looks like we're climbing a clock tower, a mediocre horror franchise. From this point on, your skills will be tested by various puzzles. Bomb blocks are lit when you walk over them and will damage nearby blocks. Oh, bomb blocks. This is getting very tropey all of a sudden. Where am I this time? There's still more? Yeah, there is still more. So I take it that's a bomb block. Wow, that takes a long time. A long, long time. Okay, so as I climb this thing, we got stuff to talk about. Uh, I should... Wow, that was a lot more violent than I was expecting. Okay, I can't pull out. Here's what I'll do. I'll let that break. Then I'll drop down and do this. Oh, wait. This... J damn it. Jimmy Jam. There we go. So, uh, once again, I've gotten done editing the last, oh, I believe four episodes that you have seen. Now I keep bringing up my editing process because every time I get to uh, edit these episodes, it obviously means a chance to really rewatch uh, what it is that's happened. Do I want that? Let's get it. Climb two steps. Okay. That's helpful. Oh, sorry, dude. I, was I responsible for that? I might have been. Oops. And as I rewatch these episodes in the editing, the footage, uh, I form more theories and no oh shit. And, uh, you know, just get more general idea about what's going on. Uh, so I have a couple theories, or just wild guesses. I'm not, like, committing to this. But one thought is uh, if Catherine with a K is cheating, then I wouldn't be surprised if it were someone in my group. If someone in uh, Vincent's friend of circles. Uh, circle of friends has betrayed him that would not be a shock to me and uh, not to be an a-hole or anything but I would suspect Johnny and I don't just say that because I have a beef against his voice actor uh, something about the fact that he apparently is in a relationship that he doesn't want to talk about that's a little suspicious to me so not saying it's for sure that's what's going on but uh, it's a possibility now the second thing I noticed in a uh, watching everything back in post, and I feel very foolish for not noticing it in the first place, is regarding the... Oh, oh shit. Well, he's dead. So is that the purpose of the guy that we saw that one fucking time? Is that uh, he symbolizes a very tough sheep that will get in your way? I guess so. Anyway, back to the talk about the ants. What I noticed in uh, watching the the uh, footage of the ant back is I didn't draw the parallel to the fact that uh, Catherine with the C bites Vincent in that very scene and that's obviously very ant-like in itself so there's probably something to that in the sense that uh, something I, I should be taking away that possibly uh, points to her once again being the supposed witch I need to move <laughs> oh shit that was close Okay, we're slowly making progress here, but this 
This one is definitely uh, messing with my brain just a little bit. Oh, we're doing it. We're doing it. Okay. Now we're making a little bit more progress here. Uh, let's see what we got to do next. Sorry for you, man. Not wishing death on you. Just sort of happened. Uh, can I get around on this side? Nope. Ah, shit. Uh, look around. There we go. There we go. Get up, Vincent. So you don't want to take that route. Let's pull this out. And I'm going to go get this money real quick and get back over. Fuck that route. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see. If I pull this one out and then pull you back out. Ah, this guy's going to get in my way, though. Oh, he's tough. Fuck you. Haha, <laughs> yeah. That's the first time I've had to, like, defeat an enemy, so to speak. Get up. Yeah. Eat shit. Doing it. You are succeeding. Not much further, but ooh, this guy's gonna fuck me up if I don't be careful. Oh, he can climb over. That's not cool. Damn it. Yeah, eat shit. Haha, <laughs> I outsmarted you. Oh, okay, this is gonna explode when I go for the block. Get it quick. Move on. Okay. That's helpful. Pull this one out, and then we can move over. Alright, this one's gonna be a problem. Uh, oh, shit! Take that money. Uh, pull this one out. We're really, really close. Oh, but I can't pull these marked ones. Damn. Yeah, those are too heavy. So activate that. Uh, pull this one out. Pull this over. Pull this out. Over. Over. And we're out of here. Sweet. I made it! Here I go. Not too shabby, though that did take a couple of retries. But of course, the number of retries available is quite ridiculous at this point. Save the game as usual. Rotate this shit and make sure we're all good and proper. Sixth night it is now. And let's see, the number of sheep is about the same, but I don't know if that actually means anything or not. Still, uh, our last go through, we ran into Todd, the regent, and he did not survive the night. I don't know if that was in my control or not, but to be safe, we'll see if we can encourage some of these guys. Less of us now. I won't lose. I'll climb for them too. Todd's uh, dead? My boss? No way. Uh, that's sheep. Uh, no, it can't be. Hmm. I see you're safe. Let's talk about our techniques. We've all got to keep climbing. Let's work together and get out alive. This technique just hit me. Allow me to explain timber. If you want to drop an entire wall, leave a supporting block and push out all the rest. Then push the supporting block and the wall will all fall down in one piece. Don't you think it's useful? Oh, I just had an idea. You think of this. Allow me to explain controlled explosion. Bomb blocks are hazards that turn blocks around them into cracked blocks. But dark blocks can never become cracked, so use this property to make paths. That's 
just inspired. What a great idea. Oh, man. I wish I'd thought of that. Not bad. <sighs> that chubby guy isn't here. Did he fall yesterday? I don't know. I felt like if we kept gathering together, talking, we'd all make it out of here. But I can't. No, that's right. Uh, this sheep right here. Oh, I forgot his name. But uh, Johnny Young Boss Sheep. He, though he knows Todd is dead, he hasn't made the connection that he died here in the other world. Questions we're being asked in the confession are supposed to judge our lives, right? That's what I've been told. Those questions sure are strange. I feel like I should be picking the right answer, not what I'm honestly feeling. How have you been answering? I don't know if I was lying, so I'm just going with how I really feel. What? Seriously? He asked me if men who want to cheat on their spouses are pathetic or praiseworthy. And since I think that men who bind themselves to one woman forever are boring and have no lives, I thought praiseworthy would be the right answer. I wish they were questions with definite answers, like, when's your birthday? Man, that sure was odd. Yeah, I thought that saying uh, to be truthful would be a a uh, plus one in the meter, but it was to the left. It was a negative answer. Very interesting. If you want an item, pony up some coin. Tonight's product is the white cube creates a block. In ah, screw it. We have a white cube. The bell is interesting, but we'll save this cash for the next floor. The next time we come to this spot. That voice! It was my wife! You traitor! I'll kill you! That's what she said! I cheated on her, so she cursed me! Seriously? I didn't mean to. I mean, she asked me first. I can't believe this is happening to me! And I climb and climb, but I keep seeing Anna's face, constantly hurting the one person that I love. Why am I alive? Why was I even born? Hey, are you alright? True freedom. It's the only chance I have left. True freedom. That's the only chance I have left. Hmm, true freedom. Interesting. I don't know why that's highlighted, but it makes me very wary. Hmm. Do you want to review the techniques? No, we're good. I gotta go. I wonder what this game defines as true freedom. Could it be that there are two types of freedom? There's uh, potentially escaping the the puzzles if you make it through all the floors. And is there a different kind of freedom? A freedom where you're able to sort of get rid of your guilt independent of solving the puzzles. Oh, man. This is the clock tower. The sixth floor. You're really good. You've been going at a pace of one floor per night so far. Come on, hurry up and ask your question. I want to get this over with tonight. This is the eighth question. Would you be worried or jealous if your significant other had good friends of the opposite sex? <laughs> Which one? told you before that there is someone who put you here can't be whatever this place is isn't it a dream that's why even the smallest of fears and doubts become magnified here <laughs> remember that survey says All right, so 75% of men would be bothered by the fact and two-thirds of women would be bothered as well. So a, a bit of a lesser difference. Hmm, interesting.
There are two types of bomb blocks with different blast radii. How brightly they glow will help you figure out which is which. I'm not gonna die. Commencing area two. Are you ready? I could not tell the difference between those two types of bombs, so I will keep an eye out for it this time. So far, so good. This is kind of easy. Let's get this extra life for absolutely no reason. Not like I had 82 of them. Alright, let's start pulling blocks out, I guess. Make a traditional staircase. Now, part of me wonders if uh, a twist to this game may be the revelation that the men who are in the other world have nothing to blame but themselves. That perhaps we put ourselves there. If, like, subconsciously our guilt made us want to kill ourselves or something. But I'm not sure if that completely adds up because, again, Vincent had his first dream here in the other world prior to meeting Catherine with the sea. But then again, maybe his relationship with Catherine with the sea has nothing to do with anything. I am going to blow up. Well, that could have gone worse. Oh, this is a disaster, though. I need to find some way to make progress here. Haha! -ha. See, I used the fucking checkpoint, or rather that uh, retry staircase to get myself up. Alright, made it up, made it up, made it up. Had to use that extra block, but we did it. I don't think that's the way they wanted me to do it, but I figured out a way. Oh man, this is so difficult. The fucking mental faculties it takes to figure this one out versus the uh versus the uh the ice block level fucking not even it can't even compare how much more difficult this is uh shit oh we're getting a little closer we're getting a little closer how the hell can I, okay okay this one's no, no that's not what I wanted oh back that up back that up back it up there we go this one's easy enough but I'm gonna set off this bomb how the hell are we gonna do this one uh fuck it back it up make them normal That simplifies things very much. Bring this one out. Sweet, another checkpoint. I'll take this money. Uh, that's tempting, but I'm not quite sure how to get it. So fuck it. Once it becomes very apparent. Don't need to touch one of these bombs, at least not yet. The money. Uh, pull these two out. Push this here. And push here. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Oh, thank God. I made it! I apologize for the intense amount of editing you undoubtedly just saw. I am at the point where this has become very difficult. That was a very hard floor. You can tell how long that took in actual time by the save points and not how much time you actually saw. And oh boy. 
We'll get to that in a second. I think you know what I'm talking about. Things are getting tough around here. You can't always rise to every situation. But you can only fall to the level of your training. Well, like what? Try this one on for size. Allow me to explain bombs away. After activating a bomb block, quickly move it away from the area. If you push the bomb block off an edge before it explodes, the blocks around you will not be damaged. Well, did that seem useful to you? It should help. Have you seen this one? Allow me to explain spring. When you get on a spring block, you can jump upwards five blocks. You can move spring blocks, so use this knowledge to propel your skills to new heights. Nice! You're brilliant! Alright, what's next? That sounds pretty useful. I expect nothing less of you. Mm. It's coming again tonight, isn't it? Hey, what is it for you? Yeah, different things. Some kind of baby... ...hands... ...stuff. It really does vary person to person, huh? In my case, it's my mother. Coming after me. To take me back. To lock me away. I managed to get away that day, but... I've been running all this time since then, and now... I, I don't want to return to that life. I need to keep techniques in my mind. I need to keep running. Hang in there, man. I've decided to let others help me. So I can reach true freedom. We're going to climb. For Anna. Why do people fall in love? What? Some people say that you find that romantic spark when you encounter someone who compensates for your own flaws. By doing so, you can find an idealized version of a personality completely opposite to yours through a romantic relationship. In a nutshell, you're trying to get rid of the self you hate through romance. Hmm. That actually makes some sense. I do feel like I'm a better person when I'm with Anna. I'm not empty anymore. I'm not the me who can't do anything. So maybe that's why we fall in love. To accept who we are and live our lives. That makes romance seem awfully trivial. Anna. <laughs> what is this dream anyway? They say it's about cheating, but I've never cheated. I see. So what's really going on? Have you cheated? Uh, yeah. There's a survey saying that 70% of men in relationships cheat. That makes me a minority. But just so you know, 40% of women cheat. It's the truth. Huh, really? A study claims that people attempt to create relationships resembling those of their pasts. Your childhood relationship with your parents, previous romantic relationships. That's what people are yearning for when they search for love. Okay, so what? Huh? Or, I'm sorry. Anna. I'm going to climb. For Anna. <laughs> anyway, not cheating is the best course of action. It's a momentary thrill, but it costs so much more. You know what I mean? Anna. Uh, I, I don't want to return to that life. I need to keep techniques in my mind. I need to keep running. Hang in there, man. So the sprawling technique definitely Anna. explains that one technique we saw a uh, night or two ago where uh, Vincent went up a bunch of blocks at once, and I just used that technique, actually. I found a spring block a couple of them actually in the last puzzle All right. oh and as we thought Justin just said that he's never cheated and yet he's part of the curse so the curse is not as simple as cheating just as I suspected hey look there's light shining through the windows wow. can you see what it looks like outside wow Some yummy juice. Hey, uh. Take one sheep and two blocks and crush him. Sheep juice. Use some wool and flavoring. Wool. <laughs> I don't think he's up for talking. I don't want to be turned into juice. Healthy juice, dude. If you want an item, pony up some coins. Tonight's product is. The energy drink allows you to climb two blocks at once. The Mystic Pillow. Then give me this one. <laughs> A smart choice. All right, now the 
sheep in the room. If I'm not mistaken, that is Orlando. What is he doing in here? Hurdle. I've got a lot further to go. Uh, hey. Huh? Voice. That hair. <laughs> Never mind. Actually, I think I might know you. Never mind. That's very bad. That means one of the group members' lives could be in danger if we're not careful. Oh, man. Hmm. Seems you're getting used to the machine-based traps as well. Hey, what's up with those sheep that attacked me? Ah, yes. There are many sheep like that now. They've lost their sanity. If you lose your mind, all you have left to lose is your life. They don't exist in the real world anymore. You serious? This is the ninth question. Do you think it's okay to lie if there's absolutely no chance that they'll find out? <laughs> Which one? Hmm. So that's the one you chose. <laughs> I see. Oh, yes. You're in the middle of the clock tower stage. From the next section on, your trials will get longer and longer. But you're running out of time. Then hurry the hell up. I'll get out of here before the night is over. Very well. I'll take you to the next level. Survey data says... Whoa, ho, ho. men, we are not a very honest uh, gender. So that is nearly three-fourths of men. Think there's no problem in lying if the other person will never find out. And even more women, over 75%, feel that there's no problem in lying if they'll never know. Very interesting. I answered honestly. That's not to say I wouldn't lie, but I would still know that it's wrong if I do. It's a race against time on this long staircase. Use the items to your advantage and reach the door before you lose your foot. Let me climb this tower like normal, damn it! Commencing area three. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready, Nato. I've been meaning to drop that line for a while, so. What the f. Is that a. It's an ant. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Stay away from that thing. Okay, remove enemies. Maybe I shouldn't have picked that up. I had the juice. Fucking ant. I'm dead. No, I'm not dead. I'm barely alive. God, fucking ant. I mean, I could use the book, but I kind of want to save it here. This is hard as fucking shit. I just did the same exact thing. Oh, thank God. Give me the fucking checkpoint. Push this over. I want that juice. Give me the juice. Get create a block. Hope that gets me out. Oh, I'm so fucking close. How much further? Okay, fucking end is right up there. I just have to not fuck this up. Push this. And we are fucking out of this stage. Thank fucking god. Oh my goodness, that was so difficult. Oh. I have a migraine, but we escaped. I am ashamed of the amount of time that took. This entire fucking sixth night is just a nightmare. Well, you've reached the top once again. You're quite tenacious.
All right, pick up the $80 headphones that I threw in frustration. Save the fucking game. Try to pick my dignity up off the ground. That's going to be very hard to do when you see how much time has passed since that last save. And it's a lot more than you're led to believe because fuck, that was so hard. <laughs> oh my god. This game is going to be the end of me. This is so difficult now. Hey, can you talk with us? You're the best climber out of anyone here. It's nice of you. I am not the best climber. I'm fucking terrible Hello? at this game. This guy's come up with several techniques. It proves what kind of man he is. They're not new, but they're all logical and useful. That's the mind of a leader. I guess my business experience is paying off. It really does feel good to help out others. I should... Do you feel it? It will be coming soon. For me. It's myself. It's me in doll form. With holes for my eyes, ears, nose, mouth. And it doesn't even chase me. It's a version of me who doesn't do anything. Who can't do anything. I would rather fall into oblivion than have to see that. Oh, come on. Anyway, let's try and come up with some techniques. Why don't we exchange some information? Sure. Here's something that I came up with. Allow me to explain Inazuma. When you're climbing a flat wall with three stones in a row, use the pulling out blocks and hanging techniques. If you repeat the same pattern, you can climb in a zigzag without collapsing the wall. Perhaps you already figured that one out, though. Oh, hey, maybe this is related to your technique. This is a variation of Inazuma. You can climb flat walls with four stones in a row in the same way. The technique lies in moving the stone to the side of the wall you'd like to travel up, and creating a stepping stone. Let's see? You're quite something. Yes, what an elegant move. Hello. Hey. Damn it. Hey, it's you again. Damn it. Why did he go away all of a sudden? Where did he go? Hey. Shut up. I can hear you. Sorry. Yeah, I understand. Been chased around by weird monsters every day. Well, go. There's another big one waiting to greet you tonight. <sighs> Big one is coming up. Maybe I'm at the end of my rope. The big one? For me, it's my wife, Sophie. I as good as killed her anyway. She has every right to be angry with me. If she's the one who kills me, then I don't mind. You just giving up? Oh, right. I knew I recognized you. You're the one from the bar. I gotta pull myself together if I told you that much. I'll go have a chat with Sophie. Sophie. I... Damn it! <sighs> Wait, there's more? I'm gonna throw my back out. I'm glad you made it up all right. It's like my hands are just moving on their own now. I don't know how I got so good at climbing this stuff. If you want an item, pony up some coins. Tonight's product is... The black cube creates a dark block in front of you. You can give me this one. <laughs> a smart choice. Uh. It's up above. I can feel it. Mother, I can tell. I'm, I'm tired. Tired of this life of running. Hey, hey. Mother's hands. Always so cold. So cold. She never let me wear clothes. Instead of dragging myself through hell, maybe it's better just to die here. Oh, of course it is. What? Fuck, you don't know anything. I'm a bad man. I hurt women, my boss, everyone. I, I just... I just want a normal life. See? You want to live. I'll climb. I'll climb. Like there's no tomorrow. If we both survive, we'll meet again. His mother coming back now. Very peculiar that uh, the last two guys we talked to, Archie and uh, the cop guy, even though I gave them responses, nothing happened with the meter. I don't know what to make of that. Oh man, you're quite persistent. 
Your climbing skills are remarkable. I don't care what little speech you have. Hurry up. This is the tenth question. What would you do if you found out that your significant other was cheating on you? <laughs> that one, huh? Very well. I've noted it. Hurry up before I start getting nervous for no reason. <laughs> nervous, huh? I expect that you will be attacked by... something. <sighs> Survey says... Yep, about uh, a little less than three-fourths of men break up. And more than three-fourths of women also say break up. Now, it's kind of interesting that my polling choices here are moving the morality meter back to the right. This is the final area for tonight. Observe the traps created by the enemy and stay calm. All right, let's just climb this thing and get it over with. What? There is no way! I'm not here. Child with chainsaw has appeared. Oh, fuck this. Yeah, I kind of know that. That's generally the goal. So yeah, now I kind of understand why I've been neutral through this entire game. Because although my uh, attraction to Lord Bailey skews me to the left, my honesty and good heart puts me to the right when I do the polling questions. That's going to break. At least this floor is a little normal. and I'm not having too much trouble yet, but a lot of, a lot of stuff to go through. This already looks like bullshit. Don't like it. Don't like it. No, sir. Oh, fuck this game. Yeah, sweet. That helps. That really fucking helped. Pull out this dark block. Pull this one out. This is a very slow route that I chose, but that's okay. We're up. We're up. Uh, take these out. Take this dark block out. Do the same with this one. Uh, we'll replace our dark block with this one. Uh, pull this dark block out. Don't know what the baby's doing, but I don't like that. No, sir. Get the checkpoint. Well, there goes all those blocks. Does he have a fucking Gatling gun? Come on now. That's dangerous for a child. Holy shit, look at all that. Oh my god, there are gadgets coming up. Uh, no. Don't like that. Ah, bullshit. You damn brat. Oh, avoid that. Avoid that. Oh, man. That's nerve wracking. Get up there. Oh, that was so close. Way, way too close. Yeah, a little bit more. Just a little bit more, Vincent. We're almost there. Uh, yeah, we made it! We made it! We made it! Yeah! Get fucked! Yes! Oh, thank you, merciful God. That was not as hard as the last couple of floors. I just opened this. Did I... Did I do it? Hell yeah, I did it! <laughs> the night is mine! Woohoo!
Oh my god, I don't know how long this video is going to be, but that literally took about three times as long as every other stage thus far. The clock tower has been completed. Oh, thank you, Yuri Lowenthal. Oh my god. Oh, I need a drink. I'm like Vincent now. My life sucks now. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you made the counts in the sheet. One, two, three, get sucked in my sheets. Kore wa genji, so like a dream. Mazaru mix the no go na clean.